In this session, we learn how to save a query to a workbook. Uh, before we do that, let's copy this role um, to workbook so that we are able to execute the query. So let's go and change. generate uh, let's go and check the role let's see what objects we have here one is I, we know why we need s underscore rfc because ms excel has to communicate with the bi system and in the last session that we saw in one of the sessions we came to know that this object is needed uh, for the user in order to get the query uh, successfully executed so you need this object. So you need to put these two role, two authorization objects uh, in a role, uh, common role that is assigned to everybody. Now we also have, so we're going to execute uh, one of the queries uh, from this info queue. And then we'll start, and we'll try to save the query as a workbook and see what happens. So in this session, we're going to execute a query and try to save it as a workbook. So let's assign this role to a user. It's already assigned because we copied the role. Uh, oh, we didn't generate the profile, right? So let's go and generate the profile for this role. Go back and Okay, we got this user ID here because we copied the role. So let's go go to SU01. Uh, to SU01. Uh, let's go and remove it from here itself. This was the role that was the source. Let's go and remove it here. Okay, now what we're going to do now, we're going to log in with user A because that is the car, because this role has been assigned to user A. We log in with user A and execute a query. And after we get the output, uh, we will try to save it as a workbook. And let's see what happens. So let's click on the info area and execute a query. Now, we know that a query is a definition of uh, uh, what the data, the, uh, the report or the query should fetch and uh, how the data should be initially displayed. Now, a query output or query result uh, would include rows and columns and filters and free characteristics. Uh, that is how the query is defined so that the data is displayed in rows and columns format and also includes some filters uh, for it. Now, what we'll do is uh, we will, once we get the output, we'll try to uh, save it as a workbook. Now, a BW user uh, spends a lot of time in uh, analyzing the reports, uh, analyzing the query results. So they do the analysis by, well, let's get this first, it's taking time. Okay, so let's click on the info area and execute the query that we want to. Okay, let's put the technical names on also. So let's go and execute this query. And uh, let's say 3000, okay? Now, the user, once he gets the res uh, results of the query, uh, the users will spend a lot of time uh, in analyzing this uh, the results. Now, they perform uh, activities such as you know, drilling, drilling down into various levels of data. So for example, let's double click on the, one of the rows and then you can for drill down if the data is further uh, available, then you can drill down further. So they perform a lot of analysis, you know, they drill uh, activities, activities such as drilling down to the various level of data uh, then let's go back. So if you want to go back, 
click on the right right click and then say back so you'll get to the whatever levels you came from and then they also rearrange the data for example if they want um, a number of days uh, to appear before balance they could do that so or they could add uh, new columns into the into the re report uh, so they would do that to highlight uh, certain relationships within the data and once that they have done that so for easy retrieval for the next time you know they would like uh, to save the uh, the formatted data uh, formatted report into a workbook now because they have spent so much of time uh, analyzing or you know rearranging the data and they would like to next time when they execute the same report they would like to get the output in the same format and that they had uh, uh, arranged now to why do why do they need to do that because they don't want uh, to execute a query again so just by saving the output formatted output to a workbook uh, they just need to execute the work uh, start the workbook and the data uh, would come come up in the formatted look and feel uh, that the user requires now the data in the workbook can be a static can either be static or refreshed manually or also you can uh, refresh the data automatically when the workbook is retrieved but that would depend on um, the query settings now once the query is wants to save and the user wants to save the query output to a workbook uh, it will get saved in the user's favorites now that it, there are two reasons why a user would like to save the query to a workbook the one reason is you know easy retrieval uh, the next time the user wants to execute the same report and the, the data comes up in the formatted output that's one reason and the other reason would be that you know the user would like to say uh, share the uh, analysis of his uh, report uh, with other users so for example a manager from one region executes a query uh, for his uh, region and did, and then he would like to share that data with the manager from another region uh, so he can do that using the workbooks so but in that case you know the user would have to save the manager would have to save the workbook in a specific location so we'll see how that that would can be done now let's since let's say we formatted the uh, report let's just for our example let's go and change uh, the title format it a little bit and and now once this assuming that you know we have formatted the output now we would like to save this into a workbook now to save this or uh, output to a workbook click on save icon and click on save as new workbook so enter the let's say let's test text workbook 3 or let's say 1 okay and click on save so let's put on the favorites now when you want to save the query output as a workbook Uh, by default uh, the use uh, the query the workbook would be saved in the users uh, favorite folder so when the workbook is saved in the favorites folder such workbooks cannot be shared with other users so so you a user 
would save the workbook to favorites so that it is easily retrieved. The query is easily retrieved again in the uh, and get the results in the format uh, that the user saved the workbook in. So let's go and save it. So you get the message, uh, uh, you get an error message. Now, to save the workbooks, uh, to queries to a workbook, uh, you need access, the user would need access to two additional objects. So let's go and put, uh, uh, see what those objects are and then insert, add that into the role. So let's go to the role and you say workbook was not saved. So let's go to the role and add the object, those two objects to the role. So one of the objects that you need is S underscore GUI. That's one object that is needed for saving the query to a workbook. And the other object that you need is S underscore BDS underscore DS. Let's go and maintain the values. Now, from a SAP standpoint, uh, S underscore GUI to save the query to work workbook, uh, you need 60 as the value. So that's good enough, uh, but you could put six uh, uh, star also if you want in some cases. Now from, for BDS underscore DS, uh, you, you need uh, from access to zero 03, the value zero 03 for displaying and 30 for determining. Now, the class type field should, the value SAP says should be OT. And this, ob, this field, you can put it at star. Now, this object, S underscore BDS underscore DS is needed to execute the query itself. So if you don't, have access to this object in BI, and you, you will not be able to execute the queries in the first place. So this object is absolutely needed. Now, saving the queries to a workbook uh, should be part of your uh, uh, security strategy. Meaning, you know, do, would you like to have all every user to save the outputs to queries uh, or workbooks or not? So some customers will have uh, strategy around that. So let's go and generate the role. So let's go and execute the same query again and try to save it into the workbook. Okay, so let's execute this query that was there uh, with the technical names on. So this is the query we have been executing. So let's go and execute the query. And this time, let us see if we are able to save it to our workbook or not. So click on save, save as a new workbook. I mean, we could have formatted the output also if you we wanted, but let's go. Anyways. Okay. Let's cancel it. And uh, once we get the box uh, for saving the query uh, workbook, let's cancel it and uh, do some formatting of this output. And let's cancel it and let's reformat some things. Uh, okay. What we did last time, let's do that again. Okay, now let's try to save this as a workbook now.
and let's go and give the name test workbook one that was what we tried to save it as for initially but because we didn't have the user didn't have the proper authorizations it didn't save so let's see now if it's able to save so click on save okay so the query or the workbook seems to have got saved so how do we confirm that so let's go and go to open workbooks and in the list we should be able to see and that's test workbook one now so you can see this uh, go to the workbook that was saved now what we'll do is let's go and save uh, close this workbook and uh, open it again so to open the query or workbook you use open to open a workbook you click on the workbooks option if you want to open a query you click on the queries option so let's go and open the workbook that we just saved and uh, see if we are able to get that output uh, within the uh, uh, in the way we formatted the output so when the user executes a workbook uh, the, the he or she would get uh, the output directly what it means is when you execute a query and uh, you get a selection screen but when you execute the workbook uh, you, the user will not get the selection screen to input the data to get the relevant uh, output So let's select the workbook and open it. Okay. We got an error again. Let's see why. Okay, the problem I think is with this object. So now let's go and add because we are extracting the data from the query uh, from from the info cubes, info providers. So let's put this value export and uh, save and generate the role now let's log in with uh, the user a and open up the workbook again so click on favorites okay this is the workbook we're going to open now select the workbook and say okay now as you saw uh, the output for the workbook came in the same format as that we have saved uh, and then also we observed that when you execute a query uh, you get the selection screen uh, to enter the input data uh, but uh, in the workbook scenario uh, when you execute to open the workbook uh, the system did ask you to input the data uh, it didn't give you a selection screen so so what it means is that when you execute the query a uh, workbook the format in which you store the report of uh, output of the query you get the output directly uh, by by bypassing the selection screen in the save format so you need s underscore gui and s underscore bds underscore ds uh, to save uh, the query results to a workbook but to execute a workbook in s underscore gui along with uh, 60 the value 60 you also need a value 61 but for just for saving the query to a workbook 60 is enough but if you want to open the workbook then you need access to value 61 also in s underscore gui now when you when the user saves the another point to remember is when the user saves the output to a workbook uh, it gets saved in the user's uh, favorites folder and if the user wants to save the output with uh, some other users then the user uh, the uh, workbook would have to be saved in a uh, certain location 
So to save the queries uh, as a workbook, you need access to s underscore GUI and s underscore bds underscore ds.